divided into four stages, namely coloring process, secondary coating, stranding process, and sheathing process. Coloring process. The coloring process is used to color the natural fibers. The color identification of the fiber is required to splice fibers with same colors in field. In the process, the natural fiber gets passed through dyes. The UV curable ink is applied over the dyes. Finally, it passes through UV lamps for UV curing. Fibers cured with UV radiation are especially resistant to abrasion and scratching at high production speeds. This machine with high production speed is one of the most sophisticated coloring machine available today. Secondary coating. Secondary coating or buffering process is a process where one or more optical fibers of different colors get encapsulated. Its purpose is to provide mechanical isolation and protection from physical damage. Here, colored fibers or fiber ribbons get to the extruder unit via fiber holder. Jelly is applied inside the loose tube along with fiber through the jelly pump. An extruder unit extrudes the PBTP compound to create a loose tube around the fiber. The jelly inside the tube provides cushion to the fiber and ingresses the water to come inside the loose tube. The outer coating of the loose tube helps provide mechanical protection to the fiber. After extrusion, the loose tube runs through hot and cold water respectively. In the final stage of the process, the tube gets dried and passes through a diameter gauge that controls the diameter of the tube. Stranding process. Stranding process is used in case of multi-tube designs. Here the loose tubes of optical fiber cable are stranded in concentric layers around a central strength element that is fiber reinforced plastic rod, also known as FRP rod. We have in-house production unit to manufacture these high quality FRP rods at various diameters and specifications. The stranding process starts with FRP rod which passes through jelly tank. Optical fiber loose tubes of various colors from payoffs get stranded around the FRB through a special unit called SZ Oscillator. Inside the SZ Oscillator, the tubes are guided through a series of rotating discs. The discs rotate a number of turns in one direction and the same number of turns in reverse direction, resulting in SZ pattern of stranding. While undergoing laying in the field, if the cable gets pulled really hard, the fibers move and adjust using the extra length. In case of a requirement of glass yarn or aramid yarn, the SZ core passes through server yarn. The strand then passes through flooding jelly and after that polyester tape is wrapped over the SZ core. Another binder is used to hold the tape at a particular lay length. Finally, the SZ core gets wind on the spool and now it's ready to go to the next process.
sheathing line. The sheathing process is where the loose tube fiber optic cable or the SZ core gets their final touch in production. Mechanical properties for different cable types are set with armoring and sheath. There are mainly two types of armoring, metallic armoring and non-metallic armoring. In the case of non-metallic armoring, the SZ core passes through server yarn, through which the glass yarn or aramid yarn gets applied to the cable. If the cable requires metallic armoring, the ECCS or SS tape applicator provides metal armoring to the cable, which is corrugated for additional strength. The cable passes through extruder unit where compounds such as high density polyethylene, low smoke zero halogen, nylon PA12 to name a few, provides outer jacket to the cable. After extrusion, the cable runs through hot and cold water and dries off. Spark tester, in case of armored cable, checks for any foreign particles. The technical 